ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. We are back on Brook. Uh, I have I got a call from my dealership, and they have a good deal here on a Chevy pickup truck. So they called me down. You know, I I've been thinking about this map is so long, like to get from the ma the farm to our um you know shop, and I have to transport seed back and forth and fertilizer and all this good stuff. And so I'm just realizing it probably would be a good idea to have a pickup truck to be able to move stuff around. So we are, um, we've this, I've decided to go purchase a pickup truck. I asked the dealer to keep an eye out. He said there's a couple options available. So we've got the Chevy Silverado High Country, which is a great looking truck. Um, and uh, they have a special right now going. So we can take a look here, toolbox, some of the things that we can do with this. Stock techs. Toolbar Tex, stock regular. Must be a Texas emissions thing or something. I don't know. But uh, I don't want a toolbox. I don't think I even want... Eh, the roll cage might be okay. I think we're just going to keep it stock. Road armor truck? What? I don't know a whole lot about Chevy options. Squad plates? No, we're not doing that. Well, the squad's pretty cool, but we're doing basic truck. Um, we got a 6.6 .6 liter Chevy Duramax. It puts out 400 horsepower. We can upgrade that to a 550 horsepower engine. What else we got? Yep, those two. In, I think we'll go with the 500 horsepower. We might as well do that. Um, it's going to cost us most of our money. Wow, those are awful looking. So we'll keep this stock chrome wheels. Well, no matter what we do, it costs money, huh? So let's go ahead. And the main color, we're going to change that. Wow, a lot of colors available. Hot pink, how does that sound? Not. You know, Micah had that really cool color, the crimson. Let's see what that looks like. Mm, not sold on that. Boy, is that a good-looking truck, though. Wow. I want a bigger truck. I like the big frame because I want to be able to pull things like the water trailer and stuff like that. This also has a hitch in the trunk, so if we need to hitch on a uh, gooseneck trailer ever... Uh, hint, hint, down the road. Um, we may be able to do that. Let's check out this one. Is that the same color? That one's a little bit more lipsticky looking. I don't like that either. Um, flat color is interesting. Jet. Ooh. Oh, I, me likey. Let's see what blues they have, though. I like blue, too. I think with a dark, dark blue. Let's see this periwinkle navy oh that's nice that's pretty cool i i want to with lighter blue though Let's see uh oh <laughs> that's a little girly all right how about that blue ford ford is blue though so we can't really do that chevy's got the off whites i don't know you can't really see the detail when you put paint it white the details all disappear uh, what about a red truck? We're using case. We could do a case color. What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm not... Uh, I don't know. It's weird because when you flat the colors out like that, it doesn't... Uh, it does. They don't jump. Certain colors work with that. Let's see. Onyx. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, we're doing that. That's it. All right. So, decent amount of money went into that pickup truck, but we'll get some back when we sell these bales. Well, not much because we're on start from scratch, so... Got $32,000 left over, but we got a really cool Duramax pickup truck. Let's hop in. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty good looking mod. Once again, the chrome isn't working though. That's a little bu bu bummer and the mirrors are bleh. Dang it. Oh well, what are you going to do? We'll work on this. Hopefully they'll come up with updates. But you know what? For somebody that's modded this in themselves, and it's not bad. Things are floating, though. Like, look at the lights. The lights are floating. They do light up, though. That's pretty cool. And I know there are some gooseneck mods available, so we may look at some of those for animal transport and stuff like that. Sweet. What do you guys think? You guys like my pickup? 
I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> That is a big tr big truck, but it's got that strong rear suspension, which is really what we need here to pull around uh, farm trailers and water tanks and stuff like that. We need to have a pretty hefty uh, rear. So what always happens with the farm sim pickup trucks that they give us, it's like you put load on it and the thing just pops over like, I can't handle that. Well, we need to be able to handle it. So, okay, Lordy, 100 miles an hour might be a little fast. Let's uh, let's set the let's set the cruise control something a little bit more reasonable, like forty five, sixty, forty two. Yeah, even we could back it down a little bit, like forty. Now this is a big truck. Yeah, I see you can see through the front too. Oh well, what are you gonna do? You know, speedometer's not working. Uh, I like the interior though. They did a nice. That is a Chevy interior for sure. You guys will hear me say something I don't normally say. You know what? I like this pickup truck, and actually, I would buy one. <laughs> it's a good looking truck. I really like the new Ford F one fifty too. Uh, I've seen a couple of blue ones, like just stock. They look great. The that Ford blue looks amazing on that new that new Ford F one fifty. Uh, I would buy that truck. I rarely think the pickup trucks look good, but the F1, the new F-150 is a great-looking truck. You know what? Pickup trucks are one of the few cars that don't look like eggs nowadays. Everything else looks like eggs, so at least pickups still look like a, a square car. I like the tires on this truck. They, they Those look real. They're good-looking. I'm interested to see why the chrome isn't showing up, though. That's something that... Uh, in the pictures, and when you were... In the in the pictures that they showed online, they had it was all chromey, but it kind of has dulled down. Oh well, mods. Like this could probably even pull our tipper. I mean, this is a heavy enough truck that it's got the ability to do some heavy pulling. Could probably get an auger wagon and down the road. Yeah, this will definitely pull that tipper. Oops. <laughs> And it definitely will be pulling this, too, when we go to get by seed and stuff. Yeah, I like. I'm happy. You guys happy with that? I think this is going to be a cool a cool addition to Jurassic Park. Oh, nice shutdown sound. Bring that high country home. All right, let's go on out there and find our... Uh, there we go. So we're last where we left off last, we were about to get ready to mow our field... We're going to make silage bales and feed them cows, get them producing milk and water. What time is it? It's 9 o'clock in the morning, so we've got plenty of time. And let's go ahead and get this guy rolling. I'm interested to see how he does. We're going to make, we're going to, we're going to make a row, two rows across the bottom of the field and probably two rows across the top. And then we'll set him on autopilot. What's cool, if you guys follow my Facebook page, and you guys know Kyle Stewart, uh, the moderator on my Facebook page, he also is a goat uh, raiser. He raises goats um, on his farm. Um, Kyle just got one of these for his farm. Uh, it is, uh, I believe, uh, what was the brand again? It's a, I'll look it up while we're talking here. Um, Facebook. Arthur's Gaming Channel. It's a brand that I've heard of before, but it's not in here. Run, I dare you. Okay, bye. Come on, refresh. It's weird, it's not loading all the way. There we go. Uh, okay, Kyle Stewart. He's got a video clip on his thing, but I'm looking for the... He actually posted some pictures, and I'll tell you what the... Him and let me look real quick here and see what the brand is. Uh, crap, this isn't loading. Oh, well. I, I can't... It's not loading. Anyway, it's a... What they call this... I, I was asking him if they call it a speed rower, but he said it only goes five miles an hour, so it's definitely not a speed rower. 
Um, they call it a swather. So that's our swather, however you you slur that th. But anyway, they're they're they do exactly this. And he's got ten acres that he mows for his goats, and he makes bales of hay. Now he's in Colorado, so he doesn't have to tether anything. It's super dry there, as you guys know. Colorado is a high desert. It's considered desert. Um, So we're going to take a look here. I'm going to run this guy up the field. I want to actually see if they can follow this map because uh, it'll be interesting to see if they uh, if he's able to follow it. Look at that. Look at the little details there, though, like the gears running and stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if this guy will be able to follow the paths because these, these fields are not straight. They're crooked on the map, so I don't know if the computer will get lost. We'll have to see what happens. Hopefully we can just set him in a direction and he'll follow that direction back and forth, but... We may need to get that course play or whatever they're calling it now, the GPS mod. I forget what they're calling it. It's like con control mod or something like that. They've changed the name. It's no longer called the GPS mod, but I don't know what they're calling it. Let's go ahead and turn this around. And I'm just curious to see if he'll go straight when I do this. Hopefully he will. Nope, she's going to run off the field. So I don't want to go in that way. I'd rather she goes this way. Um, yep, that's how we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to go diagonal. Oh, it's really stupid, but okay. That's how, if we're going to hire workers to do this, that's what we're going to have to do. So, Where's my tractor? There it is. <laughs> that's a pain in the butt. But whatever. As long as we get the material, that's all I really care about. So we're going to go ahead and run this baler. Put it put it down. Put baler down. And off we go. So we're making silage bales. I think it opens by itself, but we might have to stop. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I think this it goes to the back by itself, and then we have to unload it when it's done wrapping. And it may take longer to wrap, so we may have to pick a slower speed. Yeah, so you still have to stop, because e until the bale gets out, it's kind of annoying. Boy, the animation looks nice, though. Oh, by the way, tomorrow Anderson comes out. I don't know if I'll have this video up before then, but I'm hoping to. Um, there we go. We can dump our first bale. So when the beeper happens, before it comes out of the chamber, you have to stop. But that's how they work. I think the crone has a preload, so you can keep rolling if you run slower, or it'll actually automatically slow the tractor down to do the right speed. If I remember right, but that might only be a game thing because I, I've seen them do that before. Um, on the in Farm Sim 15 and 17, we had some of these multi balers. Oops, screwed up, screwed up again. Well, the good news is the Swather's coming back, so it's off there mowing in the distance. Oops, and I forgot. <laughs> I love the way that with this real dirt thing, it makes the wheels turn the color that you're driving on. One day I'll get this pattern down. There we go. I can be a little more efficient than I'm being, I hope. <laughs> oh well, what can you do? Now I know the, I think the pickup truck can actually run the pickup the bale pickup. So we'll bring the pickup truck out to do that work. We'll just wait for that to unload and we'll go ahead and go. And we can see the when that wrapper's going. We 
should be able to dump it off as we go. It's d looks like it's done, right? So we're going to go ahead and dump that bale. Did it go off? Yes, it did. Perfect. So we can run in cab a little bit. I know some of you guys love to see the in cab stuff. Others don't care, but... Oh, he's done three rows already. Look at that. Yeah, we're going. We could proceed. All right. Yeah, I really wish you could run this with the field, but I guess that's not going to happen. So here we are doing our yard work today. We should have plenty of food for those cows. They'll be happy. I wonder if you can hire people to bale and wrap. Let's see what happens. Though I probably don't want to do that necessarily, but... One, two, three, four, five... Oh, I forgot I could keep rolling. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Hire a person. Hire. Nope, you can't. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five bales. I'll stop at eight. We'll get the pickup truck and collect them and give them to the cows. And also give those cows water. That'll get them started on production. They'll be at like 70%. We, I think we need to get them straw also to get them at a higher percentage, but I'm not sure on that. We'll have to see. Jeez, she's mowing some weird lines here. All right, there we go. And 100%. Okay, so it beeps till it goes down, and then you're ready to go. This is going to be a big job. <laughs> Like I said, though, I think the good news is we'll probably get a decent amount of money. So that's number six, right? So I think I bail at a slightly faster rate than I mow because I'm, I'm catching up to that swather. Plus, they're slow at turning around. The workers are never really good at turning around. go there's our mower Chevy tough I'm excited about the Duramax hopefully that'll work out well try to get that stuff right there that I missed there we go So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So here comes number eight. If I can drive in a straight line. Number eight. A little stutter there. Not sure what's going on with that, but all right, so we're going to drop this off and I'm going to go ahead and pull ahead a little bit more and we're going to pause for a second. We're going to grab the Duramax Chevy's finest. It doesn't sound so healthy. All right, here we go. Head on onto that little dirt path out there. Roaring down here with the pickup. Sweet pickup. Oh, brakes. <laughs> I 
Got going a little fast there. Hook this guy up. She'll have no problem pulling this. Yep. I mostly want to get these out of the way of the swather as it's mowing. So I don't know in real life if they do this. I think these trailers are hydraulically powered. I don't know that they get their power from the tractor. I think they... It looks like it does though. I don't, I'm looking for hydraulic lines. I don't see anything. I don't know how these are powered if they have their own motor. If maybe they're battery powered. Like that could be... Like what my thought is, and I could be wrong about this, but I'm thinking that this right here is a bank of batteries and those batteries power the, me the mechanism in this trailer because there really aren't any hydraulic lines that would hook to a tractor but maybe there are I don't know In real life, you would not go 40 miles an hour on even on, on a grass field. You probably go about 10. I'll slow it down a little bit. Cool. All right, let's pick these up. So I don't know if you're a farmer and you've seen one of these pickup wagons in use before. Let me know. Are they? Do they actually use them? Um, with hydraulics, or are they are they battery operated? Like, do you have to charge them up and use them on the field? It seems like battery operated might be kind of a headache too, though. There we go. So we can put the pickup to use. I know they do use pickup trucks to pick up bales. I've seen them doing it before, uh, but I don't know if they use them at this capacity. I, I know I've seen tractors doing this, but with the smaller Ursus trailer, it's this truck with 550 horsepower should have plenty of horsepower to pull this trailer and use it as a pickup wagon. Once again, though, having the back that, that super back suspension, look at this. The truck's not leaning at all. We have the power and the strength to lift that. So it looks good. All right, let's go, get, get, go, let's go feed these cows. That's what I'm trying to say. Once again, you can see how big this equipment is because this is a big pickup truck and the trailer still is the same size as the pickup. So sometimes these things feel small, but, you know, they're not. It's huge. All right, where do I feed these cows? The downside with this map is nothing is marked. There's a water tray. Is there a food trough? And I don't want to put them down <laughs> for fear that they'll never see it again. But let's, I guess we have to. Um, mm. I get one chance. What do you guys think? Do you think this is it? Well, I guess we'll find out, huh? The question is, will the dualies fit through the door? <laughs> uh, yeah, it does. All right. Well, there it goes. Mm, I'm thinking no. Shoot. Ooh, that's a weird blue reverse lights. Okay, so let's pull this up forward. Uh. Oh, yeah, it fed him. Good. Okay. Let's see how much it fed them. It probably just a hair, right? 
Yeah, we're going to have to feed him quite a bit. But 32,000 liters, so... Cool. Awesome. I'm glad that worked. All right, so here's that. There's our milk container. Somebody said there's actually a... Inside here, there's actually a water source. Uh, so I bought that that water source and didn't need it, but let's see what happens. So we got supposedly somewhere in here is a water trigger, but I don't see it. Maybe it's the wrong, maybe I'm in the wrong barn. Hmm. Oh, well, we're going to grab this. Come in, get it. Some water. Some water. Fill this tank up. See, this tank works well with this too. The Fortrip tank is about the right size. So, I'll let that fill up. How do I beep again? What? That's not a... That's not a Chevy truck horn. What the heck is this? Bunch of garbage. <laughs> Liars! Come on, Bessie. Ugh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> she moved. Now, I wonder if I can get this from the... Dumping water. Oh, now she's going to move. There we go. Really? That's all that... Are the cows full? Cleanliness, hay, storage, water. 46,000 liters. Why did it stop? That's weird. What? Huh. Well, maybe I found a bug with this map, huh? That's bizarre. Bizarro. It only took like 10% of the water, but it's not... I don't know why it's doing that. That's frustrating. What? Erg. <laughs> so we'll go back in and try to re-trigger it. What's up, Ryan? What is that, Schechter? Ryan, your goofball. Ryan, I can't dump my water into the water thing. It is good looking. It's got an RG, it's the RG shape, so it's got like a cut on the back and the side and the arm cut rather than the uh Oh. Schecters are usually car top. Yes. Like my FG Heli. Like the one that I used to have. Comfortable, but the bodies are like that thick, so right. it's not comfortable. Right. And that one's an RG style, so it's a platter on top and the arm cut. This is making me angry, Ryan. What? Every time you stop, it's the... Hmm. As soon as you stop moving, it goes away. But what's weird is it filled it up. It started filling it up. Not really. The problem... There you go. Okay, so I wonder if I have to come in through those other doors. Maybe that's the thing. Go in the middle? Yeah, like go in the middle to do it. Interesting. Well, we'll try that next. Because <laughs> Arthur can... What? Oh. It's 
How does that even happen? That is a huge truck. I know. What is it? Chevy Duramax. So that's equivalent like a, like a 350 or something. 250, I think. Uh, maybe a 350. Maybe a 350. Like a three. <sighs> maybe a 350. Yeah, I got it on purpose that big because I want to be able to, to um, care, like pull, th yeah, pull heavy that's stuff. That's like the size of the truck Tim has, that white one he has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got a Chevy Duramax, yep. Actually, this is bigger than that because it's got the dualies and it's got the full crew cab. And the bed's longer, too, than Tim's, yeah. He has the same hood, though. He's got that, like, hood scoop. Okay. <laughs> the downside is it's really long, so it's really difficult to fit into the... to here... Let's get it in there. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's see if it. Let's see if it goes all the way. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed that episode. Uh, and it did it again. It emptied forty percent and not one empty anymore. What? I don't know if that's the map or the mod. I'm, I'm, I'm pointing my finger at the mod. Um, but let's hang on. I'm gonna test this real quick before we end the episode. Cause I'm gonna. If this is the case, I'll just sell this back and I'll get. I'll just use the water tinker that we have for the, for the milk. Um, uh, I'm gonna get angry here. I hate stuff like this. It's not it's not the game's fault. I'm just a bad driver, but annoying. It might be the map trigger. It seems to load exactly four thousand and then it stops. Well, you know what, water's free, so I'm gonna go grab this other tanker here and we'll see if that if it's the same problem. And then we'll know. Someone drive around. Let's try this out, and then we'll call it a night. Um, oh. Optical illusion. So that'll get us some income back if I sell that trailer, because I think that was like 8000 so we'll probably get like $2,000 back. <laughs> loss. We'll sell it at a loss. Oh, this is, now this is definitely heavy for this truck, but it can still pull it. And that's the goal of the 500 horsepower pickup truck. <laughs> I missed the turn. Because I'm a dork. And here we go. Let's see how the cows are with water here. 12,000 liters. They need a lot more. So, uh, let's go ahead and see if this works. Yeah, I think this thing holds 8,000 also. Yep. And let's go see if, they, if we can water them with this. Look out, cow. And I totally just... No, Arthur. No... No, this is not my night. <laughs> what, Arthur? No. no, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Sorry, someone's Facebooking me. Probably Moni. Let's see here. So we're going to go around the corner here. And let's see if this will fill all the way. So here's the test.
Yep, it worked. So that it is that trailer. Oh well. So we'll go into the shop. Um, it's P, right? And we're gonna go to our garage. Let's just sell that. Dang it, that sucks. We're gonna reset that. Actually, yeah, just sell it. That we lost a thousand bucks on it. Not that bad. Um. So we'll just use this to fill up the water for the cows, and we'll be done with it. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this episode as we added the Chevy Duramax. Uh, whatever, 6.6 .6 liter, 550 horsepower, turbocharged pickup truck. And also did some bailing. I'm going to go ahead and continue bailing and bailing and bailing and feeding and bailing and feeding and bailing. So we'll catch up to you when I go to actually sell my first set of bales. And I'll see you guys then. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. Love having you guys around the farm. Bye.